Welcome back to the unofficial guide to Wirecast, where I am going to show you how to use the Elgato Stream Deck with Wirecast. Let's do it. So the Elgato Stream Deck is an awesome little controller. It's connected via USB to your Wirecast computer, and we can use it to control Wirecast. We can do, turn on different things. We can clear layers, which is super great. This is the small Stream Deck. This was like the original. They've made bigger ones since then, and I would recommend getting one of the larger ones. I'll show you why as we open up the Elgato Stream Deck software to set up your Wirecast system. So first of all, this is the Stream Deck software and right out of the gate, you're going to need to install the Wirecast plugin. And the Wirecast plugin might not be installed by default. So you have to go to more actions and you have to find the Wirecast plugin. So you just search for Wirecast real quick. It comes right up and you can install it. When you do that, Wirecast will give you the, or the Stream Deck will give you the option to just go ahead and plop down buttons. And it's really nice because as soon as I plop down a button, it shows up. So watch how easy this is. The plop down the record button, boom, it's there. So I want to show you how I've laid this out so you can kind of see an easy way to set up your Elgato Stream Deck for uh, Wirecast. So the first ones here are, are clearing layers. And this is why I think you should be looking into the larger Stream Deck solutions because you really want to have like a, almost one, two, three, four, five, five layers if possible for Wirecast. And because this only has three buttons down, uh, we have to kind of page down to get to layer four and five. So that's why the larger stream decks um, that are available today might actually be better for you for Wirecast. So let's find the stream deck large. And I want to show you guys, there's one called the XL. And this one has four down. So that's not bad. It doesn't have five down, but at least it has four down. It's a little bit more expensive. This stream deck XL is $24.99. It's actually out of stock right now as of the time I'm making this video, but it's a little better than the Stream Deck uh, regular. It's got four down. So it's pretty good. Uh, and I'll show you kind of how I have this set up. So I have layer one, layer two, and layer three here. And then in my Wirecast production, sometimes we'll have a lot of layers going left and right. So again, the Stream Deck XL is probably going to be your best bet for controlling Wirecast in an easy way. But essentially, all I did was I dragged shots over and let me delete a few of these. I'm gonna delete this whole first row so that I can um, show you how this, this gets set up. So you dra left, drag it. I found that it actually knows the layer that you're using. So if I drag this to layer two, it actually mimics uh, automatically, see it's saying layer one, index one, layer two, index two. So what does that mean inside of Wirecast? Well, when I hit layer one, it does a clear. When I hit layer two, when I hit layer three, and you can see the little uh, indicators on the stream deck moving. Let's see, I'll move this over just a hair so you can see what it's doing here. Clearing, adding, for example, and I can just go down and clear very quickly and easily. That's one of the things I really like about using the Stream Deck is if you just got to clear really quickly, something that a lot of times you have to do in Wirecast, you just go boop and they're all cleared, right? So it would be nice to have that fourth layer with the Stream Deck XL. But anyway, I, I'm a huge fan of this Stream Deck product. Um, and from here, what we should do is, and by the way, let me just show this sitting on my table here. Um, Pretty nice little Stream Deck layout. Um, you can just start creating a second row. So to do that, I just create a folder called down. 
And so when I click the down folder, let's see if I can show this on this camera here. So when I click the down folder, it opens up a whole nother layer. Um, and so here's where I start doing uh, my fourth layer. Now, when you go down here, you do need to go to index and change the layer and the index because when you're on this first set of buttons, it seems to know exactly what layer. It, it assumes that you want to set it up just like Wirecast is set up, which is nice. But on the second layer, you have to, when, when you're in a subfolder, you have to uh, come down to this grid system and explain that, no, I'm actually on layer five when I come down here. And that's all you really got to do. You, you have the ability to pull in shots and set the index, which is the layer there, just like that. We have, uh, we can do multi shots. We can do the stream button, the record button. So when I'm back up here in my top layer, I have the ability to quickly start recording, for example. I don't have an output setting here, so it's asking me to set one up. Okay, no problem. Boom, when I hit the record button, we're recording. And it actually has feedback inside of the stream deck, so I can see the difference between when I'm recording and when I'm not recording. So that is very nice. Let me show that on the uh, stream deck, the actual stream deck I have here. So not recording. Recording, and you can see the, the 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 change of the button color. I also like to have the CPU usage there uh, in the corner, so that that's a stock uh, stream deck option that is available. Uh, you can have like timers and different things, but as far as Wirecast, we have it here. Now you can also do some uh, Zoom integration if you're thinking about using Wirecast with Zoom, as we've talked about in this. Uh, online course, you can actually use Zoom as well. So that's all for this video. That is how to set up Wirecast with an Elgato Stream Deck. Again, I recommend the XL if you can afford it. Gives you a couple more buttons left and right, um, up and down, which makes it a little bit better. But that's all. If you have any questions, let me know. We're going to keep trucking along on our unofficial guide to Wirecast. See you in the next chapter.